Hello everyone, my name is Bao, and today I can tell you about why do we kiss under mistletoe. The sight of mistletoe may the sight of mistletoe may you either send you scurrying, either send you scurrying, or if you have or it if you have your eye on have your eye on someone awaiting awaiting an opportunity. Uh, Opportunity beneath its snow white An berries. opportunity beneath its snow white berries. But how did the festive Christmas But how did the uh, festive Christmas tradition of kissing under mistletoe Christmas tradition of kissing under mistletoe come about? Come about. The long lived cu The long lived custom intertwines the mythology and biology custom intertwines the mythology and biology of this intri of this intriguing plant. Whatever. Breeding plant. There are more than there are more than a thousand species of mistletoe, which grows grows uh, the world over. One thousand species of mistletoe, which grows the world over. In fact, in fact, the ancient Europeans were so captivated. The ancient Europeans were so captivated by the plant. Captivated by the plant's usual growth. Its unusual growth habits. Unusual growth habits. That they included it in their legends. That they included it in their legends and myths. And myths. In ancient Rome. Ancient Rome's Pliny, Pliny the Elder described how Pliny the Elder described how the Druid priest a Druid priesthood in ancient England believed that mistletoe in ancient England believed that mistletoe was a plant was a plant dropped down from heaven by the gods dropped down from heaven by the gods that explained its unlikely position. Is unlikely position among the high branches. Position amongst the high branches of certain trees. A certain tree. Trees. They also believed it had. That's a belief to have powers of healing and bestowing fertility. Powers of healing and bestowing fertility. <laughs> Meanwhile, scan. Meanwhile, Scandinavian legends told of the plant's mystical qualities. Scandinavian legends told of the plant's mystical qualities in the story. In the story. Of the god Baldur. Of the god Baldur and his adoring. His adoring mother Frigg. Mother Frigga, goddess of. Goddess of love, marriage, and fertility. Of love, marriage, and fertility. Frigga loved. Frigg wore her son to us so much that she commanded every. Loved her plant. son so much that she commanded every plant, animal, and. Animal and inanimate object to vow. And inanimate object to vow they'd never harm. They'll never harm him. him. In her fervor. In her first hour, she overlooked the mistletoe. However, she overlooked the mistletoe. The mischievous god. The mischievous, uh, the mischievous god Loki realized his oversight. Loki realized this oversight and pierced. And pierced Baldur's heart with an arrow carved from a mistletoe branch. Baldur's heart with an arrow carved from a mistletoe branch. Frigga. Frigga cried tears of such sadness that they. Formed, cried tears of such sadness that they formed the mistletoes. Mistletoe's peri berry, berry, berry berries, making the other, making the other gods pity her and agree to resurrect. Baldur. Gods pity her and agree to resurrect Baldur. <laughs> Hearing the news, Hearing the news, Frig, uh, Frigga uh, uh, became so overjoyed that she transformed. Frigga became so overjoyed that she transformed the mistletoe. From, the mistletoe from the symbol of death. Into a one of peace and From love. a symbol of death into one of peace and love, she mandated a. She mandated a, a one-day truce for uh, all fights. A one-day truce for all fights, and that everyone. Em and that everyone that embraced beneath its branches when they passed. Embrace beneath its branches when they passed to spread more love. To spread more love into the world. Love into the world. In the 17th century. In the 17th century, British colonists arriving in the new century, world. British colonists arriving in the new world found a found different uh, but similar looking uh, species of mistletoe. A different but very similar looking species of mistletoe. They applied it. They applied uh, it into these tales of magic, uh, fertility, and love. To these tales of magic, fertility, and love, spreading the mist. Bring the mistletoe hang tradition from Europe into America. Mistletoe hanging tradition from Europe into America. By the 18th, By the 18th century, uh, people in Britain had turned this. century, people in Britain had turned this into a Christ into a Christmas tradition. Christmas tradition. But this cut. But this custom come uh, down uh, to more than just human imagination. Custom comes down to more than just human imagination. All of it. 
all of it was inspired by the plant's intriguing biology. Was inspired by the plant's intriguing biology. We see mis we see mistletoes as a festive decoration bow draped uh, on tree bro uh, boughs in the wind. Mistletoe as a festive decoration, but draped on tree boughs in the wild. It's in the wild. It's known as a partly parasitic plant. It's known as a partly parasitic plant. A parasitic plant. Mistletoe, re mistletoe relies on modified roots called Hastoria. Relies on modified roots called Haustoria that penetrate. That penetrates trees bark as a tree bark and siphon off the water and minerals. Penetrate the tree bark and siphon off the water and minerals trees carry. Trees carry up at their carry trunks. up their trunks to colonize. To colonize nearby trees. With its nearby trees with its seeds, mistletoe, mistletoe depends on birds and other creatures. Depends on birds and other creatures to do the dispersing. To do dispersing. Birds that birds that eat the mistletoe's sticky white berries. Eat the mistletoe's sticky white berries. Sometimes sometimes get rid of the gluey seeds by wiping them off onto a tree bark. Get rid of the gluey seeds by wiping them off onto tree bark, or with a, or with a bit, bit of luck, luck they excrete the. In they excrete the indigestible seeds. Indigestible seed. Indigestible seeds onto a tree where it germinates. Onto a tree where it germinates and starts, it starts to, to grow. Up. With its resilient. With its resilient foliage that stays lush. Resilience and foliage that stays lush even while the. Even while the surrounding trees lose their leaves. More and more quacko to a. Quacko to a. Quacko to a. Quacko to a. Surrounding trees lose their leaves. You can see. You can see why mistletoe captivated our superstitious ancestors. Why mistletoe captivated our superstitious ancestors? They saw these. They saw these as signs of the plant's magical qualities and fertility. As signs of the plant's magical qualities and fertility. Even today. Even today, the mistletoe inspires wonder. The mistletoe inspires wonder with the. With a diversity of wildlife, it diversity of wildlife it supports. More than just a parasite. More than just a parasite, it's also known as a keystone species. It's also known as a keystone species. It's eaten by a. It's eaten by. It's eaten by a diversity of animals, including deer, elk, squirrels, chipmunks. Diversity of animals, including deer, elk, squirrels, chipmunks, por porcupines, robins, bluebirds, morning doves. Porcupines, robins, bluebirds, morning doves, and the. And the butterfly genus Dilius. Butterfly genus Dilius. Dilius. Some mistletoe. Some mistletoe species produce dense bushes. Species produce dense bushes, which are which are excellent nesting locations for a variety of birds. Excellent nesting locations for a variety of birds. And despite and despite their parasitic a uh, parasitic uh, relationship with trees. Their parasitic relationship with trees, mistletoes. Mistletoes can help other plants. Can also help other plants. For instance, for instance, junipers, juniper sprouts near mistletoe to benefit. Sprouts near mistletoe to benefit from the visiting, uh, from the visiting berry eating birds. Berry eating birds, through the many, so the many, uh, through the many benefits it provides. Benefits it provides. Mistletoe. Mistletoe influences diversity and allows ecosystems to flourish. Oh, influences diversity and allows ecosystems to flourish. You might even. That uh, for this iconic plant, say that for this iconic plant, life imi White imi uh, imitates legend. Imitates legend in the wild. In the wild, mistletoe has the power to bring things uh, together. Mistletoe has the power to bring things together, and in our own and in our own traditions, we see that happening. Traditions, we see that happening too.